All right, so this is a 1990s 5.0 that we converted to look like an old 289, 302 to match this 66 Ford Mustang. We also made it up to the original T5 that was on this Fox Buddy, which is all the way across the house. Now, the only thing we've done to this is we've switched to the cam with the 351 Windsor cam. We put the Edelbrock Performance 289 carburetor intake. That's one of the changes you need to make. We changed the valve covers and we also bored the motor 20 over with flat top pistons. Let me think, what else do we do? This does still have the Fox body oil pan. I'll need to convert that to the front sump. So let's go over what needs to be changed to convert your 5.0 into a carbureted motor. Or if you just like the look and you go a fuel injected carb, that's also what you'll need to do for this. So step one, delete all the original fuel injection system off top, everything, intake, wiring, just throw it all away, sell it on eBay, whatever you need to do to make it happen. Just tear it all off. Next, go ahead and slap yourself on a Ford 302 289 intake does not need to be a little Brock, it can be any brand. Amazon has some great choices on a budget. So does eBay. This is my favorite brand for it, of course. It's nicer. It is way more expensive than your $800 intake off Amazon though. So it's not for everyone. I went with the four barrel because why do all the work and go to a two barrel? Next either keep your original valve covers or change them to something more time relevant. While you're in there, go ahead and change all your gaskets. Also, timing cover, it's not gonna work. This is an aftermarket timing cover. This is your stock one right here. I have all the timing covers you could use. So, this is your stock timing cover. Nothing wrong with it, but there is no spot for a fuel pump, a manual fuel pump. If you're running electric fuel pump, disregard this whole section of the video. But if you're keeping an original carb and you wanna make it easy and you wanna run a manual fuel pump, this is where it will be. Let me go grab the manual fuel pump so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is what your manual fuel pump looks like. Simple, There's two bolt holes that slides right into the side of the timing cover. Then this lever gets pushed up and down creating a pump. So it sucks from one end, pushes fuel out the other end. So it'll suck from the fuel tank, push your motor into your carburetor slash engine. Now, since this one does not have it, let me show you one that does. I'll go with my original 289 one that came out of the car. There it is, see, two bolt holes, slide and slit. Compare it to this one, two bolt holes, nothing. Everything else is the exact same, not a single difference to the timing covers, minus your front sump, sump oil distic location. Now, let me show you what happened to mine. You see, lots of corrosion. Ate up a ton of the metal, you see it even more on the back. Just chunks of metal missing. Also, I went to a 5.0, the old motor has a ton of corrosion. This is it was once a screwdriver flathead that I tried to hit out the broken oil dipstick in. It has gone through so much metal on metal, or not the same metal, so dissimilar metal, and it basically welded itself on the inside. And I can chisel away little by little, you see, but it won't come up, it's stuck. So, we're not using this one. I ended up buying that, but we'll come to that one last. Next, you can get yourself timing cover with the fuel pump locator minus your dipstick tube locator. So this would be where the dipstick's at. This one doesn't have it because of course it's a Fox body pan. Instead, Fox bodies have a dipstick tube that goes right there. This won't work, I'm running another Mustang. This dipstick will no longer be relevant since my sump will be in the front. This will not give me an accurate reading. So I have to take this out, cap that hole, and get a cover that has a hole right here. Or I could drill this out, tap it out, 
drill and put in the correct tube? I could. I am not very good at keeping a good sized drill hole going. So instead, I went over to the guys at Late Model Restoration. I think I paid $40 for this timing cover and it came with all the gaskets I needed. So Felpro, great brand. Don't mind this, this is for the T5. But yeah, Felpro gaskets included with this timing cover that has your two hole fuel pump. And best of all, your oil dipstick hole. Now, you might need, you might need to buy this. Late model restoration focuses mostly on Fox buddies from what I've seen. So what they include, is this little 3 8 tap. So if you have a Fox body, you're just doing the conversion to a Fox body, you buy this timing cover. Well, you just tap that in right here. Sorry guys, I keep having to pause. My neighbor's cutting grass. But yeah, you just tap this in right here. Or for me, I'll take this and it's the exact same fit on that hole. So I'll tap it in. So perfect. That is all you're gonna need to simplify a carb swap to a 5.0 fuel injected motor. After that, of course, you'll need the correct distributor, correct plug wires, exhaust, yada yada, and your carb, but this is all you need to convert it. Everything else is as simple as putting a regular carb motor in the car. You're gonna need all that stuff no matter what. So while I have it here, I'm gonna take the timing cover off because I don't know where top dead center is. I'm gonna to find top dead center, take that valve cover off, check it off, find top dead, mark it, put the new timing cover back on, and boom, we're gonna be in, hopefully running in a week. Again, thanks for uh, tuning into my channel. I hope to have more videos for you all soon. If you like this video and you wanna see more of this car, hit a like and subscribe, and thanks again.